I don't even know how to start this video. Um, not to mention that I woke up only like an hour ago. <clears throat> um, don't freak out about the title of this video. Um, I know y'all are probably thinking, oh no, he's leaving. It's like, I don't know yet. But right now, things aren't looking good. Um, even though <clears throat> there is some good news, I have. I think secured a job. I don't know yet. I haven't heard back, but the other, that's not what, what we're here to talk about though is um, this um, I may be in trouble guys and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep doing this for much longer But um, let's let's dive into this and go into why so let's not I want to save I want to save the personal stuff for last because I want to go into like the the actual like details of what's going on here so um, I want to show you guys something in my YouTube studio. So if you guys don't know, um, I've been trying to work to get to, into the YouTube program for a few, couple years now, but probably even more. Um, and if I were to go into the earn tab right here on my YouTube studio, and if I were to scroll down, you can see that shows the requirements to join. I need like a thousand subscribers. I need like 100, 1,128 public, sorry, not 100,000, need like 4,000 watch hours or, um, 10 million public shorts views, which is never gonna happen. I can't say, well, I, do, I won't say it's never gonna happen. It's probably not gonna happen for like a very, very long time. And you need to complete the basics, two-step verification, follow community guidelines, and eligible if you have any co copyright strikes or anything along that along those lines. And then pass channel reviews. So basically the YouTube will follow your channel, make sure it's following the YouTube channel monetization policies and, what, and so forth. And um, I want to show you guys um, just, just just something that's a real kick in the balls right now. I want to show you guys something that literally just crushes that dream of coming a partner into thin air. So this is a video that this is an update video that YouTube posted about like three months ago. So it was around the summer, June thirteenth. I was definitely totally not graduating from high school back then, so I definitely wouldn't have seen this. And um, I guess I should have paid attention to it a while back, but. I can't always pay attention to these things, so I just want to show you guys this video real quick and just show you um how great news this is for other guy, other people like you guys that are also trying to strive to become content creators, and how this also serves as bad news for me. It's good news and bad news for everyone. So um, let me just let me just unmute this real quick. So in short of all the BS that I just cut out, um, basically you unlock the simple features. You unlock like the fan monetization features, so that means super chats, um. Um, advertising your products down below, below your description, your videos, or also, um, so like super stickers, all the live stream monetization features and simple, simple, like, and even like memberships, like just fan memberships in general, you would unlock that as well. So it, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty some good, some good stuff for people who are trying to get, trying to get an early start on monetization with YouTube at 500 subs. But that's the thing though. To apply, you'll need 500 subscribers three valid public uploads in the last 90 days, and either 3,000 valid public watch hours on long form video in the past year, or three million valid public shorts views in the last 90 days. You can apply by going to YouTube Studio, then earn. I if you're that. not yet eligible, you can track your progress towards eligibility and sign up to get notified with an email when you're able to apply. As a reminder, the eligibility requirements to unlock revenue sharing on your videos are 1,000 This is what it's showing for me, which is BS. Subscribers and either 4,000 valid public watch hours on long form video in the past year or 10 million valid public shorts views in the last 90 days. Does it sound like I wanna do revenue sharing right now? Like what kind of freaking system is this? Like seriously. And now let's take a look at let's take a look at this freaking article because right now after that watching that again boils the fumes in my in my system again like seriously this is still this is making me on edge again just watching that video it's like a big old slap in the face so overview overview of the expanded youtube partner program we're expanding youtube partner program to more creators earlier access to fan funding and shopping features expanding youtube partner program is available to eligible creators in canada I'm guessing GB is like the UK. I, I, I'm guessing. I'm I, I'm guessing. I'm not positive on that. And I'm guessing KR is Korea, Taiwan, and uh, United States. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm sorry if I get those those countries wrong. But those are like the four, four, the first five countries. United States. I live in the US. And then all these other. Yeah, the expansion is rolling out over the next month to eligible creators and 
all the other countries around the world. If you're in one of these countries or regions, you can read the article below to learn about the ch changes coming to the YouTube Partner Program. If you're not in one of the, which I am, I'm just going to ignore that part. And check if you're eligible for the expanded YouTube Partner Program. If you're not eligible yet, select Get Notified in the Earn area of YouTube Studio. We'll send you an email once we've rolled the expanded YouTube Partner Program to you. And um, yeah, now, now I'm just going to show it to you. So I go to Earn, right? I go to Earn. I, I click the link. Does it look like I want revenue sharing? And by the way, to do revenue sharing, you have to have a Google Ads account linked to your YouTube account. And I have to go to that in studio. I have to go into like the settings in studio. And I gotta go to um, I believe it's channel and advanced settings. Yeah, Google Google Ads account. I don't have a Google Ads account linked. So if you want to have revenue sharing, you need to have that Google Ads functionality linked to your account in order to even get money through ad revenue. I just feel like I just feel like the system is not understanding what I want. If there's a way I can get the YouTube Partner Program faster, I'd rather do that than continue doing the same old boring path that you put. The no, no, sorry, the same BS path. Let me, let me correct that. The same BS path that you put in place since 2016. Now here's the here's the kicker. Here's the kicker though. Here's the kicker. You ready for this? So you guys know that I'm I'm trying to work on um some more side projects like with the Pixel CXC Players Project. And uh, let me just show you this, okay? I'm going to show you right now. So if we go to my other second channel, which is completely dead in the water. No one's been watching it, which I totally understand. Um, if we were to go to earn in this one, look at this. Start your earning journey earlier. Bege begin to earn sooner with access to fan funding and shopping features. As you grow, you'll unlock more benefits like ad revenue, sharing, and more. Why is this page different from this channel? Why? Is because it's newer? Because mind you... I created, if I were to go to my, my channel on um, YouTube right now, if I were to just go to the, the page right now, and if I were to like go click on um, the about page right here, December 26, 2014, it's because my channel's so old that now you're still applying old standards to my account. That's fucked up. That is, that is complete bullshit. Like, that is ridiculous. To like, you're applying old standards still to old accounts. It's like, nope, only newer accounts ever since we applied that new standard for the partner program get this benefit. Well, that's just a big slap in the face. This is ridiculous. Like, all of us uh, small content creators who aren't, like, who have been wanting to try and pursue um, becoming a content creator still can't, still have to go through the same ridiculous process for trying to get a thousand subscribers. Same process. For my, for this account, which was created. Apparently, they're all tied to the same thing. I did I did not know this going into recording this video. This says, bet. How would you want to bet if we go into this channel right now? If we go into the CXC Players channel right now. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, there's a couple of funny videos on there. You should probably check it out for yourself, too. Link's in the description. Oh. So, you're telling me. That my account, which says 2014, gets these benefits. Now I'm even more upset because I, I I swear I didn't know this going into the video. So it's 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 literally tying in this channel under 2014. Okay, now I just okay no, wait hold on now I just realized something actually. So when I was trying to create my channel back in 2014, when I was still young and stupid, um, I accidentally created two channels. One which was this one on accident because if you're because if I show you guys in my content in this one. You can see this one, like Hunger Games, PC, Minecraft edition. This is when I wanted to try and do Minecraft um, as a niche on my channel. And this was back in December 31st, 2014. I'm trying to process this. Sorry if I'm stuttering, but literally I'm trying to process all this new information that I have not found out yet. It's, it's, and I'm trying to figure out like, so basically what YouTube's saying is my other channel, which has no subscribers, no support, and it's completely dead in the water, gets this benefit. But you're telling me, that this, a channel that I'm actually, and trying to actually, like, support with content, and trying to keep above, uh, trying to keep afloat in the water, doesn't get this benefit. Like, seriously, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is redonder, and this is, just, it just, it's, and, 
the Pixels, and if I show you the Pixel CC Players one, if I go to YouTube Studio for that one, keep in mind also Yoshi, my friend Yoshi Sor can see this as well since he is a big part of the project. Um, also, thank you to everyone who watched this dumb video. <laughs> I don't know why this, I don't know how this video got up over, over a thousand views, but thank you so much. Um, but no, my um, my, my Pixel CC Players channel gets this benefit. Do you see what's not lining up here? So you're telling me, I, I basically an account, a, a freaking account. Like the one single account tied to two channels created in 2014. Only one of those gets the benefit. And then this one that was created in 2022, back in November, gets this benefit. It, it, it makes you see what this it doesn't line up, YouTube. It doesn't line up. I don't think I don't think YouTube realizes how messed up this system is and how much they have damaged it back like way back in 2016. Like when they made that change to get to a thousand subscribers. The entire there was controversy all over, like dead serious. If I were to look at if I were to look up like back back like on the Reddit's and the Twitter on Twitter feeds back in twenty sixteen, I'm sure there was just a bunch of controversy. I'm sure big I'm sure the big YouTubers like Matt Pat and all those guys weren't worried about because they're way over that mark, so they were totally fine with that. I guess it was just a security measure to make sure that bots weren't making money off of YouTube through YouTube accounts. And that is that is that is fair. That is a fair concern to have with your with your um, online platform. And I do I respect that. I do understand that. But you could why didn't you why couldn't you have made like five hundred then? Also, I felt like the CEO of YouTube back then kind of wasn't making the smartest decisions anyways. I mean, like removing the dislike button was the stupidest decision anyone could ever make because oh, big conglomerate corporations make big mistakes. So oh, no, Sonic movie trailer didn't do so well. Let's hide the dislike button. Let's keep going in this article just so we can cover everything. In 2022, we announced that we are evolving the YouTube partner program to continue making YouTube a rewarding place for content creators. Starting mid-June 2023, we're expanding the YouTube partner program to more creators with earlier access to fan funding and select shopping features. And as you can see, this is the same goal that apl applied to my other channels and clearly doesn't apply to my main channel, which is still BS in my opinion. In addition to the above threshold, creators who meet the following criteria and, and are accepted into the YouTube Partner Program will have additional benefits including revenue sharing from ads and YouTube Premium. What you need to join the expanded YouTube Partner Program. So right here, follow the YouTube channel monetization policies, have a channel based in one your uh, available countries or regions, make sure your 2 sub verification is on, which it is. So as far as I can see, that's everything I need to cover on the whole YouTube situation. Um, it, 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 it's it's kind of messed up. Um, I know a lot of you may disagree with me on that, and maybe just be you may think I'm being over dramatic as always, but no, I'm being dead serious. This this is this is a little bit messed up, and I've had Hall. I've by the way, if you guys know my friend friends Hollow and Yoshi, they actually I actually tro I troubleshooted with them the night that I discovered this, and they showed me their YouTube studios, and apparently they get the option to only need 500 subscribers as well. So it feels it seems like they're cutting out people who have been on the platform way longer aka me back in 2014 basically almost 10 years literally they're cutting me out of this expanded program it, it's a, it's a little bit messed up actually you know what, to be honest i don't even know why they're doing this like why like seriously even like first of all like i feel like you should like at least make a way to appeal it appeal the like thousand subscriber mark so you can fix it and that way you can like appeal them say hey i actually want to try and do grow on youtube i want to try and do this consistently over time I want to try and make videos whenever I can to try and grow and actually pursue content creation. If there's a way you can appeal that to them and fix this, I'd be all down for it. Like, seriously, I feel like there should be an appeal system to fix this so that way you can, like, tell them, hey, I want to try and be a part of this expanded program. And you know what? I actually did try getting in contact with YouTube, with the um, YouTube support. And you know where it got me? Not where I wanted. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Not what I freaking wanted. And so, literally, the only other option I had was to freaking call YouTube support. Like, seriously, I, I we literally tried calling YouTube support the night that I discovered this. And the day after. I, 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 did, I did myself did it the day after, the middle of the day. Um, yeah, it was all robocalls. Couldn't get, into, couldn't get in contact with the real person. Um, I, I, will, I will probably most likely try again to get in contact with the real person over YouTube support. Um, they probably will not care about what I have to say because I'm not, I don't get creator support. So that's not to say that this is killing the channel. It's just, it's just, it's just kind of dumb. It's just really dumb. It's really, it's a really, I feel like they overlooked this decision a lot. This is a great decision. Trust me. This is good. This, this right here is good. 
but why not apply it to all channels or at least make a way to appeal it so that way you can actually try and make money off of it now this isn't to say i still can't make money on youtube like they're actually offering ways to make money off youtube if you play pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars that is so let me show you guys if i go to the content page on my main channel right now if i were to go here and if i were to show you the promotions page right here so um right here you can you promote your channel and like your business like my business of creating entertainment for you guys to watch um to like the youtube homepage. i can make it like an ad and whatnot and i've actually seen people do this on the youtube on the youtube app as well i've actually been scrolling on the youtube app and i actually have seen ads for other youtube videos and stuff like wolf den or even like i mean wolf den makes sense because you know it's almost a million subscribers um but um but even like smaller content creators like people who are just in the thousands like seriously like dead serious you can do it but if you pay a couple of your organs to google incorporate to um do this so if i were to example do this and i were to do the google ads account thing and i would select a video from the channel uh let's say um let's i want to advertise um the lost dub final trailer i want to advertise the dub let's do that and then we want to go next to target united states let's say like canada or like the united kingdom or like brazil yeah, let's go. Yeah, maybe Brazil, Brazil as well. Maybe even a uh, freaking United Kingdom. Let, let's do that. And then, um, yeah, let's do that. And then budget. Not really called promotions, is it? If you really have to, I mean, again, these just these are just words for f features. It doesn't mean that it's actually like that. But you literally have to spend hundreds of dollars. On advertising and I'm just gonna say right now I'm not willing to spend over $200 to advertise a video trust me I want I want to spread the word about my videos as much as I can I want to try and like share them on like on platforms like Twitter um, my discord server um, anywhere I can anywhere I can like share my videos I'll do it but not if it's going to cost me hundreds of money, especially when I'm in college right now and I'm in debt, which leads me into the next part of this video. Um, that is making me want to consider quitting YouTube. Okay, I wouldn't say it's a main factor. It's like a really small factor. This right here, this right here is the main factor. This is the main factor. But the other side factor is um, the rough transition that I'm in right now to try and transition to co the college life. Um... Right now, I'm kind of struggling already Already in a couple of my classes. And um, and if y'all don't care about the personal stuff, you guys can fast forward through the video. But I just, I feel like I need to, I feel like I should at least let you guys know what's going on. I feel like that's only fair. So that way you guys aren't just kept around guessing when the next video is going to be. Because this might be the last video I make for a really long time. Or if I do upload videos, it's going to be older videos. Videos that I recorded like before I moved to college. And probably my Nintendo Direct one, which I required recorded yesterday, which is the one thing that kept me off my mind from all of this. Part of it also is because I'm homesick. Not like like sick sick, but like homesick meaning as in um I guess it's 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 just the rough transitions making me like kind of just I, it's just I've never been away from home this long before. So it's just kinda hard to um be away from home for so long without like actually like seeing anyone that i've known for so long in my life like in person and i just i mean i i'm not trying to sound like a baby or anything i'm not trying to sound like someone who's just like literally like like just upset and just talking to a camera complain i just it's a little too much for me and my anxiety levels have been going way through the roof i've actually been yeah with like with and with with college and stuff i'm probably just gonna have to maybe maybe dropping youtube all together is the best decision for my future but i don't know yet i'm trying to consider all the options um the fact that i still haven't gotten a job is kind of pissing me off to be honest um mostly because of the fact that literally like i i i'm, I'm broke right now i i, I literally am broke and um i'm not gonna hide anything for you guys either. i'm gonna go into everything in this video all right even if it's stuff that i probably shouldn't be saying on camera i'd rather say it now than not because if i don't say it i feel like you guys are gonna be wondering what the hell is going on and why i'm not being up front 
I'm being upfront and honest with you guys right now. I don't want to hide anything. So, I'm just going to say right now, I'm not saying, I'm not confirming, I'm not confirming that I'm quitting YouTube. This just, this is just saying that the fate of the channel is literally on thin ice right now. Like, it's hanging by a single thread, and it could break at any moment, any day now. That is, unless I can try and get get the financial support that I'm able to like do a job. Because again, I haven't heard back from GameStop. I actually had I've actually got my interview done with GameStop, so I'm still trying to wait to get in contact with them about whether I got the job or not. And I haven't heard back from them uh, since my interview. So um, until then, um, I'm just here waiting in the dark, waiting for an answer. So yeah. Well, for now, uh, yeah, that's where we're at, and uh, I'm my depression levels have, from early this year, have been returning, ever so roughly, um, and it, it sucks. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, not looking good, guys. It's it's not it's not looking good, um, and maybe it's just because of the fact that the YouTube algorithm is constantly evolving and changing over time a lot. Although that's not really part of it, because you, you can see that like we're doing good we're doing good for the most part for the most part i mean like we are doing okay this video doesn't count this was just made as a joke i might make a couple more of these as a joke if i can't find any content to make like seriously i want to make stuff that's unique such as this for example like stuff like this okay sorry no i'll wait i'm on the wrong i'm on the wrong analytics page hang on i i, I rather i rather make unique content like this for you guys than stuff like this all the time because I feel like short I feel like short form content is what's killing the YouTube algorithm. It's what's killing short con like sh like really small content creators from really make like making long form content. Um I just yeah, I I don't know, man. I, I really I really don't know. I guess what's I it's just it's hard to be a content creator when you're in college. I'm sure Sam procrastinates can um, if you guys don't know Sam Procrastinates, he was also in college at one point when he was, um, um, also a content creator. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I'm just seeing it all the wrong way. Maybe I'm just handling it all the wrong way. I don't know. But for right now, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to consider the option of leaving. I don't want to. I want to stay as long as I can. But, um, right now, it, it's starting to lean towards that. So, um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments below. Um, definitely share the channel, people, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I just, I really don't know what else to say for this video. That's literally all I wanted. That's literally all I need to talk to you guys about. It's just the fact that I might be leaving. I may, I might be leaving either temporarily for like a really long time or probably forever. I don't know which one it's going to be. But right now, as far as I know for right now, I'm definitely going to need a break. For sure. So, that's all from me. And I guess, let me know what you guys, let me know if you guys have any questions, or any concerns, like any other, any other concerns you have. I'm sure you guys are already concerned that the channel is going to be gone and poofed in a matter of time. And that's not certain yet. That is not certain yet. But let me know if you have any other concerns or questions that you may have about like what's, what to expect in the future. So, um, yeah, I'm going to dip for now. I'm going to be, I'm heading home anyways today, um, for just to recoup and try to recollect myself. So, um, yeah, uh, that's it for me. So, um, I'll, I'll be seeing you guys soon, but, um, for now, take care, stay safe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.